This video will introduce you to the Moodle layout and show you how to navigate around a Moodle course. After watching this video, you will be able to identify the major components of the Moodle course homepage, navigate using the course index, block drawer, course menu, and user menu, and edit the appearance of the homepage. If you have recently created a blank Moodle space, this is what you will see when you first view it. You'll see that the main area of the Moodle course homepage is organized into sections, also called topics or modules. Depending on the Moodle settings you choose, these modules will be labeled with topics or weeks. When you create your new course in Moodle, you can start from scratch, like the blank course we just looked at, or with a template called the Quick Start Course Shell. The Quick Start course shell has customizable recommended course layouts and student resources. You can watch an overview of the recommended Quick Start course shell via the link in the description of this video. In the course creation phase, you can also copy a course from a previous semester. In a blank course, notice that the first topic section has an announcements discussion forum where instructors can communicate with students by posting messages. Each topic section can be renamed and the announcements forum can be renamed or deleted. Everything else is a blank canvas ready for instructors to add resources and activities. This course demo is an example course that we will use in many of our Moodle videos. It's important to note that the Moodle is highly customizable to fit your needs, so it's fine if your course doesn't end up looking like this one. The left column of the screen is called the course index, which is key to navigating Moodle. The X above the course index can close it, giving you more screen real estate to see your activities and resources. The four line icon is a button to reopen the course index. This toggle functionality is the same for students and instructors. In the course index, you will find each collapsible section or topic heading and each activity or resource included in that section. Users can click on text in the course index to jump to a different section in the course. The view in the center of the page will change to the section that was clicked in the course index. Students who are enrolled in a course will also see circles next to module components that have activity completion turned on. When students complete that activity, the circle will fill in. Click on a section title to jump to that part of the course. Then open the section or scroll through the middle of the page in order to see the instructional activities and resources. As an instructor, you are able to edit in this center section, adding activities and resources. To turn editing on and off, use the edit mode switch in the upper right corner. Different menus in Moodle will help you access and edit settings for various parts of the Moodle course. To the right of the dashboard and My Courses links, you can find the User menu. In the User menu, you have a variety of options. We would recommend updating your profile and reviewing your preferences, in particular, your notification preferences. A key navigational feature of the user menu is the switch role to function. Here I can select student to view how my students will see, interact, and navigate around in my course. To return to my instructor role, choose the user menu again and select return to my normal role. Below the user menu and the edit switch is the block drawer, which contains content blocks that have different functions. These blocks can be customized depending on your needs. Users can also close and reopen the block drawer using the X and the less than or arrow icon. In the center of the course, below the title and header is the course menu. Here you can navigate to adjust course settings, view participant student information, access the gradebook, find common reports, and under more, find additional menu items like question banks for quizzes and course reuse buttons to import content from other Moodle courses in which you are an instructor. You can find additional information about settings in a video linked in the description. 
I can continue using the course index to navigate back to the main course page or different segments of a course. To edit the appearance of your homepage and layout, access course settings from the course menu. In settings under course format, you can change the look with the format options. Topics and weekly formats are the most common. You should also try both course layout options to see which you and your students prefer. Show all sections on one page creates collapsible sections. And show one section per page removes the collapsibility and keeps students to one topic or module per viewing page. Now that you are familiar with Moodle layout and how to navigate around Moodle, you are ready to begin building your own Moodle course. View our other videos to learn about basic editing in Moodle and how to add resources and activities.